What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got lots of stuff to do. Um, so a couple little events ago, uh, the exhaust fell off my car, so it's just been straight pipe, but really poorly done. So, I got some new pipe. We're gonna try and make a custom pipe with um, a resonator and a blast pipe coming out, maybe at a 45 degree angle. I don't know yet. Um, I'm not a good welder though, um, so this is gonna be a learning experience for all of us. Um, judge my welds in the comment section. Um, but anyways, yeah, you also sent me a nice airhead. Um, but I'll start this thing up for you, let you hear it now, um, so we can get a good before and after. Um, yeah, so stay tuned guys. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Okay, so I'll start it up for you right now quick. Um, it's quite raspy, sounds terrible, but honestly the ricer in me actually loves it, so I don't want to quiet it down too much. But this is what it sounds like. But as you can tell, not the cleanest sound. Not the cleanest stream pipe there ever was, but we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna try and replicate the stock exhaust, um, the shape of it at least. The way it is right now is it comes out, and as you saw, it kind of stops here, and this is where it broke off. There's a hanger here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna then try and replicate that. We're gonna put a resonator, resonator, a resonator. I don't know. Right here, another 90, and then we're gonna go out the back passenger side. And right here, I'm hoping to get the tip to do something like that. And I'll polish it and make it all chromey, as you guys know. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of shape we're gonna go for. So I think first step is I'm gonna cut the stock exhaust off right there and then start piecing this together um, to get my 290s. And then this will be uh, my 45. And I think I've got all the materials here to do it. So let's see. Step one. So I've got my 90 here. What I'm kind of thinking of doing is this. Can you see? Yes. Um, and then into the resonator, resonator, and then over to this hanger here. Um, yeah, so let's see what it looks like with the resonator. Okay, so I'm actually kind of going for something just like this actually give or take. Um, so I'm going to put some tape on this and try and hold it in one spot and uh, set it up under there and see if we can start welding. Again, I'm not a fabricator. This is probably one of the first few fabrication projects I've taken on. So don't judge me. In fact, let me know some tips in the comments, guys. So I've got this fit up the way I think I want it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It might be a little bit hard to hold it under the car 
But what I'm going for is uh, that right there. It's hard for me to hold it up. Basically, if you look at it, just like that. So yeah, let's weld this up. Okay, so I've got my Mastercraft um, welder set up with some gas. I've got this marked out on where I want to um, get it aligned. I'm just gonna do one little tack here and then I'm gonna really scrub it down with a brush to get some clean metal. Um, and then we'll fit it up again and go from there. I forgot to turn the gas on. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean that up, get the other side on, and then I'm gonna fully weld it. So I've got this thing welded up. Not the best welds, but again, I'm not a fabricator. I really don't know what I'm doing. They look wet for some reason. I don't know. But I think that'll hold. Um, so I'm gonna go put it back on the car and then we're gonna work on the exit part. Be right back. That's pretty much bang on. Okay, so. Now I've got to get a tack on this. Right there. And then fully weld it. So let's see how this goes. Okay, let's go test fit this. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so I'm happy with that fit. I'm just gonna finish weld it now. Okay, so a couple hours has passed. Um, I'm in my jammies now, baby's asleep. Um, so all I've got left to do is weld it to the cart and make up some um, hangers. I've got this old, uh, what is this? It's a handle for a manual jack out of this car. I'm gonna use this to make my hangers. Um, but yeah, let's weld it into the car, weld the first hanger on, and then make our custom hangers. So let's get this.
I've got it. Sorry, the ball oh. just fell down. I've got it securely mounted in there. Um, it's not quite level, which is what I wanted. It's a little bit uh, down on the right side here, but it's coming along. As you can see, I've got one hanger welded in there very roughly, and it's welded to the car now too. It's already pretty sturdy, but it's definitely gonna need um, one more hanger right here. So let's go fab that up and uh, weld it in. Well, there it is, how to make uh, a one-off blast pipe exhaust for your Miata. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys, remember to comment, like, and uh, yeah, you thought I was going to end this video without starting it? Let's listen to it. Well, that's it guys. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned. I'm going to post another video in about seven months. So, don't hold your breath.